Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back finally to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved. Now, I think I owe you guys a bit of an explanation as to where the episodes have been lately. And, well, to be honest, there's two main things that uh, have been preventing me from making episodes. The first of which uh, being that I've actually had some pretty bad hearing problems in the last few days. Now, thankfully, they're pretty much all back to normal now. But, uh, yeah, basically for a couple days I had, like, severely muffled hearing and uh, well maybe a bit TMI but I had quite the uh, build up of earwax going on basically so I had to get them cleaned out and uh, yeah we're back to normal now my friends and uh, yeah it, it kind of got me down for a fair while and yeah we're back to normal which is great never ever underestimate how good hearing is guys because uh, honestly uh, it, it's just one of those things to take for granted isn't it let's be honest here but anyways the uh, the other reason uh, why there hasn't been episodes is because i have been hard at it trying to get some good mutations for our tech vexes and i am happy to say ladies and gentlemen that after a long amount of time off camera and even a live stream's worth of time we have finally got ourselves some level 300 tech vexes which is about as far as i'm going to go with the mutation stacking for the tech now, as you can see, they're both level 300. We've got three points in melee, four in stamina, four in health. And yeah, these two are like the perfect breeding pair. So basically, any dinos that we now get from these two tech rexes, we are going to hatch them and we are going to imprint and level them up okay so it's gonna be a fantastic time. So yeah, the grind pretty much now is over for now. Up until we wind up breeding Therizinos for the dragon and whatever else we might wind up breeding. I don't know, man. I am trying to hold back burps right now, my friends. I'm trying to be a professional, okay? <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for all of the support, hints, tips, suggestions, feedback, everything like that. I truly do appreciate it, my friends. We have been absolutely smashing, smashing it out of the park with the support lately, my friends. If we can keep it up with a thousand likes per episode, that would be absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. Oh, yes, it would. So... Today, today, my friends, we get back to various bits and bobs. In fact, the first thing we're going to do is the comment of the day. Colton Smith says, can't wait until he gets a chemistry bench and sees how fast he can get gunpowder and everything else. So that's given me a pretty good episode goal for today's episode. Uh, in addition to, you know, hatching some of these here Tech Rex eggs, as you can see, level 300. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so chemistry bench it's definitely something i've never built before in arc survival evolved so i guess we should have a look and see uh what kind of stuffs are needed uh chemistry bench there it is wow that that's like insanely cheap what this thing requires 3200 so what's the difference between the industrial grinder and the chemistry bench huh I mean, I've got, to, I've got to tell you guys the truth. I honestly don't know. But here we go. I mean, to be honest, all of this stuff, I think, in one form or another, I think I have it all. I think I have it all. All right, so before we do anything, guys, I think what I want to do is just empty out my inventory. Okay, let's put the uh, level 300 Tech Rex eggs in there. And guys, check this out. We've got ourselves a bunch of lower-end Tech Rex eggs, and we've got a freaking ton in here as well. So the idea is we go ahead and hatch these bad boys, and then we use our level 300 plus Tech Rexes to kill them, and therefore get a ton of levels up, right? That's the idea, okay? So it is going to be fantastic. I'm so looking forward to it, guys. I really, really am. But uh, without further ado, we are going for the chemistry bench. So we need to go ahead and, uh, I don't know, collate all of the resources that we have and put them all inside of the fabricator. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You may also notice there is a distinct lacking of tech rexes now, uh, which means that, uh, yeah, uh, stuff happened. S stuff happened. And, uh, yeah, this board is getting very, very full now. <laughs> We may need a second one, dudes. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get some resources. Let's get this chemistry bench going. And I am excited. You guys have made me super excited to get this thing crafted and see what it can do. Oh yeah, and one of the other things that I made off camera was a vault, which is something a lot of you guys were suggesting we make because it's basically a very much souped up wooden uh, box. So this thing's got 45 slots. And check this out, 350 slots with the vault, guys. Oh, okay, fantastic. So this is all of the sort of excess stuff from the fabricator. Uh, the limiting factors really are crystal polymer. And I think there was something else in there as well. 
Uh, yeah, okay, so crystal polymer, metal, and spark powder. Okay, spark powder's pretty easy to make, so let's get that done. Uh, we've already got a ton of metal, because as you guys can see... Uh, from all of the mutation stacking, grinding stuffs, uh, yeah, I, I essentially sort of managed to make a metal farm out of it, and now I've got like probably about 9,000 metal if I had to estimate. So, you know, I've got rather a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> uh, all right, polymer, crystal, spark powder. Right, spark powder is probably the next thing to do, uh, logically speaking. So let's grab out, do we have any flint in here? I mean, we certainly got the stone up. Oh, yep, there's the flint. Let's maybe halve it and then boom, boom, shake the room. We are done. Do this, do this, and then 25. Oh, man. Oh, wait, you get two per time though, don't you? Yeah, okay, so we'll have exactly 100 there. Fantastic. All right, so uh, let's head to the nearby cave. Where's Super Bob? Oh, yeah, he's inside of the uh, the hatchery over here. Uh, yeah, so one of the other things from uh, going at <laughs> and killing so many tech rexes is Super Bob is now level 326 and has 820,000 XP on him. Check out the stats. I actually decided to increase his movement speed. 154%, 2400% melee damage, and uh, j just in general, guys, this guy is just absolutely freaking insane. Like, honestly, it's just insane. Super Bob is now, like, super high... I don't know. Super hyper mega ultra stupidly overpowered Bob. That's what he is now. That's what he is now, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, I couldn't help but notice. I think there was a purple loot beam. Oh, yes, there is. I'm going to go get that purple loot beam real quick. Hopefully, there is some sort of uh, ascendant, uh, I don't know, saddle. Uh, it would still be nice... Oh, here we go. It would still be nice. Oh, for God's sake. D just don't. Just don't even bother. You suck. Every single one of you. You suck. Dead. Oh, my gosh. They keep trying it, don't they? It just isn't going to work out for them. It isn't. Go on. You all might as well die. <laughs> oh, the damage is insane. You love to see it. All right. Let's just pop over here. What do we got? Come on, baby. Come on. 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 Oh, my God. We're so close. Ooh. All right. There we go. Uh, Diplodocus saddle. Interesting. Oh, there's a terror bird right there. You know what? I really don't like them. I don't like terror birds. They're a pain in the ass. I don't like them. They suck. All right. Well, now that... Oh, for goodness. Just when you think you've taken them all out, there's just a whole bunch more. Yeah, I haven't had a Diplodocus saddle, so that's pretty interesting at the very least. Oh, and there's another raptor. Goodness me, how many of those guys are there? All right. Oh, wow. We've got a lot of, uh, got a lot of arrows on us here. That's pretty cool. All right, so back to it. We need to enable resource harvesting with you, sir, and go find ourselves some uh, Hesperonis. Now, I would go ahead all the way up to the snow biome, but yeah, it's too far away. I can't be bothered. So, yeah. I mean, it could be an idea. Nah, actually, maybe not. I was thinking maybe what we could do is try our hand at doing some of the fast traveling stuffs, but then we'd have no way of getting the, uh, the stuffs back, would we? The, the polymer, that is. So, yeah, it's just something we have to contend with, I guess. Eventually, uh, once we get to tech stage, I'm pretty sure you can get a teleporter, but I'm pretty sure it requires you to take down alpha bosses, which, eh, yeah, we're not quite at that point yet, are we? <laughs> Whoa, what the hell kind of egg is that? That looks pretty, that, that looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, what is it? Spino? Huh, it almost looked like a tech Spino egg. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. I am doing 1,200 damage to you per time, sir. <laughs> oh, Super Bob is just... Oh, my goodness. What else can I say? He's just insane. All right, let's go take out this army real quick. Oh, what is what is even the point of you? Get stupid. All righty, guys. Killed a whole bunch of uh, Hesperonis. We've got ourselves a ton of organic polymer. I'm hoping that it's going to be enough. I think I saw 250. Uh, am I right? Is it 250? Yeah, it is. Okay, coolio. I think we've got enough there. All right, so what else have we got? Spark powder and then just a few more crystals. All right, well, the spark powder should be done by now, which is why I did it before I went on my adventure. There we go. That's 50... And there's the other 50. Okay, coolio. All right, so thankfully we do, of course, have the uh, the southeastern cave near us, which is great because, you know, it means we can get crystal super easy. So, Mr. Super Bob of Epicness, you are going to assist 
in getting, oh my gosh, <laughs> you're going to assist me in getting a whole bunch of epic stuff. Four fertilized tech regs, holy mother, we're going to be able to hatch a whole bunch of dudes. And ladies and gentlemen, crystal is obtained, turned on, and there it is. For the first time ever, the chemistry bench. I have never made this thing before. Does it require gasoline or does it require electricity? Uh, I mean, once again, I, it's the first time I've ever made it, so I honestly have no idea. Uh, question, where do we put it? Ah, oh, has to be upon something. Okay, I mean, I guess I could put it, like, over here? I'm, I'm kind of down to do that. Here we go. I mean, this is a workstation, after all. Uh, right, okay. So, requires gasoline and power to be activated. Absorbent substrate, black pearls, oil, and sap. Okay, sap is something we definitely do not have access to. But the rest of this stuff, according to you guys, they will craft this stuff up super quick. So, uh, gasoline. Uh, thankfully, I do still have quite a lot of it inside of my uh, various machines here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take half of that. Chuck it in here. Here we go. And then, I guess we go ahead and do uh, stuff. Uh... I don't know. Maybe we grab ourselves out some stone and various other bits and bobs that I guess you can chuck in there. Ah, what else have we got here? Thatch? Eh, not really that useful. Okay, well, we're going to put a bunch of stone in there. Maybe some, I don't know, flint and some various other bits and bobs. Uh, charcoal especially as well. We want ourselves a freaking butt ton of that stuff. I mean, come on, look at this. We've got a freaking ton of it, dudes. Woo, lots and lots. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so if there's one thing I've noticed already with this thing, it appears that the crafting recipes are actually more expensive, interestingly. Alright, well let's go- oh my goodness. Alright, what do we get? Uh... What?! Uh... <laughs> Man, does that go quick! <laughs> Holy guacamole! Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, four per time, four per time. How many do we get? Okay, it gives me six per time. I think I'm counting there. Good, sweet Jesus! <laughs> wow, that's uh, that's quite something, huh? That is quite something. All right, well, let me go grab myself a whole bunch of stone as well, in which case, and then maybe we can make ourselves a whole bunch of cementing paste, huh? Oh my gosh, I can't believe how quick that goes! Wow, you guys were you guys were right. I am pretty damn excited about that. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. All right. Oh, goodness me. Now it's like the slow slog all the way back over there. Oh, goodness me. Hey, okay, once again, six cementing paste per time. Holy crap. Seriously, how have I never made this thing before? This is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Well, I guess the, the next step is we need to maybe get ourselves a bunch of this stuff, huh? So, narco berries and spoiled meat. Uh, well, that should be pretty easy. Wait, uh, I think I got rid of everything on Tanya here. Yeah, I did. Okay, right. Wah! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Give to me all of the narco berries of epicness. I want them all. I want them all on my person right about now. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. Narco. All right. Boom. Transfer. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. So, uh, we should, I'm pretty sure, have ourselves a freaking ton of spoiled meat all over the place as well. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we can make ourselves a butt ton of narcotics. Now, I don't want to have, like, unnecessary things in there. So let's just go ahead and get rid of the uh, the, the seeds right there. And, uh, yeah, there should be a whole bunch of spoiled meat, like, pretty much everywhere. Uh, yep, there we go. <laughs> lots and lots and lots. Oh, all right. So let's check out the uh, the crafting rate of Z's. Ooh. Okay. So, yep, again, six per time. <laughs> wow. Okay, so making ourselves further shocking tranquilizer arrows is just going to be a freaking walk in the goddamn park now. Wow. Thank you so much for that suggestion, folks. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so, the question now stands, what the hell does the industrial grinder do? Grind up crafted items and certain resources. I genuinely have no idea what this is used for. I thought that this was sort of the upgraded mortar and pestle. That's what I thought this was, but apparently that's what this is instead. Huh. I don't know. Well, anyways, I mean, even if we did want to make it, 
we could pretty easily get all of the resources. We've got the oil. Polymer is pretty easy to get. Cementing base is now stupidly easy to get. Crystal is pretty easy to get. And metal ingots, believe it or not, we've already got the amount needed. <laughs> all right, industrial cooker. Okay, I mean, he's kind of tempted to make all of these things, isn't it? But... Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. A lot of you guys in my live streams were suggesting that I should go ahead and make a mobile base, okay? Whether that be a Bronto base or a Parasa base. I mean, to be honest, I think... What the... Is that a... What? Why is there a galley in here? What the... I'm, I'm so confused right about now. There shouldn't be anything spawning naturally in here. But apparently there's a Gallimimus just ro roaming around, just trying to claim my place as his own. That ain't happening, sir. Not at all. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, mobile base. I mean, obviously, you know, tech... Uh, well, well, tech quetzal? Is that even a thing? I'm pretty sure it is. I can't remember if they spawn on the island, though. But anyways, the fact of the matter is, I think it would be a fantastic idea if we do try and make ourselves a mobile base. And then, hopefully, we can rank up all of the movement speed, you know? If we get ourselves a super high-end Bronto, and then we, you know, upgrade its movement speed... Then maybe we can get between the Obelix pretty damn quick. Hmm. No, I don't know. Okay. Well, anyways, I think for now what we're going to do is we are going to grab out all of the eggies. And we are going to see what we can do with our level 300 plus tech rexes. Oh, I am excite. I am literally the definition of excite. All right. I'm going to grab myself a whole bunch of meat here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what other stuffs they might want in terms of the uh, the imprinting. But I guess we'll find that out in just a hot second here, huh? Alright guys, so I tell you what, we'll do this in like two batches. Maybe we do seven here and then six for our second go. Okay, so if there's any of them that wind up with level 302 plus, that means they are even further mutated. And we will still go ahead and print them. We're not doing the mutation stacking anymore. 300 was my goal and 300 is what we've got. So anything is just a bonus at this point. So... Here we go, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300. There is a 302 right here. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm kind of down with it, I'm kind of down with it. The rest of them are all 300. Okay, so what's the... Oh, this one's got a health mutation. Nice! You love to see that. All right, and yeah, pretty much like every single other one of these guys, I'm just, I'm just going to imprint them. The army commences. The army commences, guys. You know? We're going to get this thing rolling. Dude, this is going to be so freaking sick. Even if I only get like 20%, uh, you know, imprinting on these guys, it's still going to be worth it, right? For the, you know, the enhanced stats. Gosh darn. All right, it might be an idea if I maybe set down a feeding trough in here with a ton of meat in it. Because then, I'm pretty sure it'll make things just a little bit easier for these guys, right? And certainly easier for me. All right, well, let's go ahead and give you some. And then, is there another one back here? Oh, no, that's it. Okay, cool, yo. So, in just over a minute, they're going to want some sort of care. Oh, my gosh. And now I need to go ahead and do Disable Wandering on literally every single one of them. Oh, my goodness me. This is probably going to be a pain in the butt, to be honest. <laughs> All right, one by one. I feel like the freaking Pied Piper right now, except I'm luring Tech Rexes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah. Uh, once these guys are all fully grown, they're probably going to wind up all, you know, clipping inside each other. And, yeah, this uh, this could get pretty messy. All right, so as far as I know, a whole bunch of them... Wait, wait, wait. Whistle all stop. Can I do that? God damn it. Uh, whistle all stop. Ah, there we go. Whistle stop all. There we go. Coolio. Right, so what do a bunch of these guys want? Okay, so... Oh, my God. Superior kibble? What do you think I am? Freaking rich? Ah, oh, fam, I ain't got that kind of crap. God damn. Oh, there we go. A little bit of imprinting on this guy. Okay, wants to go on a walk, wants to go on a walk. Someone wanted Amar berries, which thankfully I think I've actually got. Cool. I feel like I'm just being like the mother. I mean, I feel like the mother of dragons, except I'm not. I'm like the... Uh, <laughs> I'm, the I'm the mother of Rexes, guys. That's what I am right now. Oh, look at that. I'm taking a whole bunch of them for a walk. Oh, wait, there's like a couple that still aren't moving. Uh, come on, then. Come on, that hey, look at he do. That's interesting. So they don't even have to actually move in order for the imprinting to happen, huh? That's pretty interesting. So you just need to give them the command and then boom, they're good. Oh, wait, that, that guy's not following. There we go. Coolio. 
<laughs> this is awesome. All right, well, let's do uh, let's do whistle stop all again. There we go, and yeah, I got to give him like a minute or two. Oh no, there's what? Oh no, the mutant isn't here. Oh my gosh, I can't forget about this guy. All right, what do you want? Cooked fish meat. Okay, uh, I could actually get that. Okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. You know, I'm not gonna panic. Oh my god, there's just so many of them to freaking care for, dude. I feel like a, I feel like a mother who's just got too much going on. Uh, right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty, Mr. Mutant, or Miss Mutant. I didn't actually see what gender you are, but uh, here we go. Yeah, comfort eating. That is not a good thing to get into there, buddy. Alright, can you, like, move over this way? Oh no, are you stuck in the freaking AC unit? All right, well, there's another way of doing this, in which case... Oh, no, okay, no, you're fine. Oh, coolio. Right, let's get you to follow me out. Come on, buddy, out you come. Wait, are you male or female? Let's just have a look. Male. Okay, buddy. Come on, then, sir. Let's do this. We're going... Oh, for God's sake. Dude, are you seriously incapable of coming through that freaking door? Dude, I swear to God, I'm about to kick your ass. Come on, buddy. Come on. Ouch. Oh, my God. All right, you want to do it this way, I'll do it this way. All right, guys. So once again, they are taking a walk, I guess. Wait, why aren't you following me? Come on, you're supposed to be following. Budski, maybe I need to like roam a bit further away. Uh, I don't know. I don't... Oh, oh, there we go. A little bit more imprinting. Fantastic. Okay, once again, a little bit more and a little bit more. Cool. Yeah, you guys seem pretty chill, huh? What the hell are you doing over there? What the hell? Alright, uh, right. A lot of these other guys want some, like, weird and wonderful foods. Uh, primate jerky, I absolutely do not have that, sir. Uh, what about you? Superior kibble, do not have. Uh, any of the guys with the little dummy symbol means that they want something or other. Uh, what did you want? Primate jerky again. Hmm. Alright, I mean, you know, these guys are getting pretty close to being matured now, which is great. So, again, let's just do whistle stop all. And I don't know if I'm going to have time to get some more stuffs done here. I mean, it says in, uh, what, about 70 seconds time I'll be able to imprint potentially again. So, yeah, look at this. 40%. Cool. I like it. I like it. Alrighty, guys. And a lot of these guys are about to mature, like, literally any second now. So... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, they are all grown up. Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. All right, so all they need to do is just, like, eat. Eat like you've never eaten before and get your health back and stuff because uh, I really don't want you guys to die because otherwise I'm going to be real sad. Hmm. Might it be worth me just, like, chucking down a, a, a feeding trough, like, just in a mill here and then just getting a ton of meat with my baryonics? I feel like that'd be a worthwhile thing to do, right? Uh, okay, so I'm going to go and put uh, the rest of those eggies in here. Uh, maybe we'll hatch some uh, another day. For now, you know, we've got a fair amount here, which is good. Oh, my goodness. We've got so many freaking Tech Rex eggs. It's unbelievable. <laughs> like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, my gosh. Okay, and then the non-fertilized ones. Check it out, guys. 66 of the buggies. Whew, we can make a lot of kibble out of that, huh? Nice. All right, let's get ourselves a feeding trough, huh? All about the meat at this point, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm just going to try and get as much as I possibly can here. Uh, I don't really care for the prime meat because I'm pretty sure it won't really do much for the dinos. Uh, but uh, yeah, oh, Allosaurus brain. Okay, don't mind if I do. Some more little trophies for the little python lady. You'll love to see it. Okay, and yeah, we got ourselves a bunch of, uh, you know, raw meat, which I'm hoping will do the job in terms of helping those tech rexes uh, regenerate all of their health, okay? That is my fond hope. And then if all goes well, and I've perfected my method, then yeah, I'll probably go ahead and patch the rest of them, like either off camera or in a stream or something. I don't know, man. But uh, yeah, let's just head back in here. The feeding trough is indeed placed down. It's just sort of in the middle of them all. Uh, so yeah, let's just do meat. Oh, fish meat. Is, oh, God damn it. I keep forgetting you can't really distinguish between the two, which is sort of silly. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's pop off. Uh... Yep, there we go. <laughs> Got to in the finish. Okie doke. And there you go. Enjoy, 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 enjoy. Okay, so that's nearly full. And just a few more. And then we'll be just about there, I think. Yeah. 
Hey, so we haven't done too bad today, my friends. I mean, I won't lie, I was kind of uh, maybe expecting to go for another dino tame, but uh, we've done plenty of stuffs around the base, which is good. And these are getting eaten. Oh my gosh. These things are getting eaten like left, right, and center. Wow. Well, uh, I certainly hope that you guys enjoy it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this, man. This is so nuts. Well, I'm so glad I got the feeding troughs on the go, huh? That is what, well, that was a very good play, I would say. All right, well, I'll put the rest on me just in case we need to, like, fill it up again, which we will. But, uh, yeah, guys, look at that. We are the mother of Rexes. We've got a chemistry bench going on now, my friends. And, yeah, next episode, depending on your guys' feedback, we're going to try and tame ourselves a platform saddle diner. Now, of course, the Quetzal is probably, like, the end game thing to go for. I mean... I don't know. We could potentially try to go for it in the next episode. I don't know. I mean, trying to find a Quetzal in within itself is super, super rare, isn't it? But then trying to find a high level one. Ooh, that's going to take some doing, isn't it? So maybe we go for one of the uh, the, the platform, uh, you know, land dinos. You know, the Bronto, the Parasir. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments area below. Uh, in fact, I tell you what, let's put a poll on screen. It's been a while since we've done that. Poll on screen, what platform saddle dino should we go for? And, you know, I guess if you've got any hints, tips or whatever, then, uh, you know, head down to the comments area. But, yeah, for now, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to wrap up today's episode. Nice chill episode for today, my friends. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. Do be sure to drop a like rating if you have. I'd very much appreciate it, as I've always appreciated your guys' support. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But hopefully, you guys, we are back with nice, regular arc content. Oh, yeah, it's going to be great. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.